Hi, um, I am Claudia Itzel Hernandez. I am a student at MPC, Monterey Peninsula College. I, well, let me start with telling you how I got the internship at YWCA. I was attending to my woman psychology class at, Mon at MPC, and Mrs. Gabrielson, who was a wonderful teacher, she mentioned in class that it was an opportunity to be uh, part of the YWCA to help community and to help women. So um, I was so interested and I really wanted the internship. What I did was contact Larry Clark, then say um, a letter with all my work experience or my abilities, uh, ability and skills. Uh, all the personnel here at YWC have treated me so well. Kathleen Clark was always supporting me, always um, just uh, encouraging and trying, like, um, you know, like, help me in more that she could. Everybody has like uh, pushed me forward to reach my goals, my personal goals, my educational goals, and it has been such a wonderful experience. I would encourage everybody to to go ahead and uh, st uh, take a step forward to what do you want to do. Uh, really look for um, internships, go ahead and get some some professional help. Um, being in the YWCA it helped me to to make some career decisions. I changed. I wanted to be an engineer, an industrial engineer. And when I started the, the internship at YWCA, I decided that, no, it's, I, I really want to help the community. I really want to be involved with people. I really, I found that, the, that, um, that I really want to be part of changing, changing and improving this world. I, I love people, I love to help others. So it's what I found that it was the right thing for me and I decided, I decided to change my major. Now I am studying, uh, well, I am studying towards being a non-profit administrator and getting my my general education for now, but then soon hopefully transferring to San Diego State University. And that's what, <coughs> excuse me, that's what I am. And I develop a, cu a curriculum on self-esteem because I think self-esteem is a big issue for youth right now, especially for girls. So I develop a curriculum what it involves like, it involves um, low self-esteem, high self-esteem, and how to um, how to identify a healthy self-esteem level, how to maintain it. So I presented to them, and at the end we did an activity. I was collecting all the characteristics, and that's what I would like to say. Yeah.